It's a busy day in this village near Kenema City. Healthcare workers are looking for signs of COVID-19 and malaria, especially among pregnant women and infants. It's the rainy season and mosquitoes are thriving. Since the COVID-19 entered the country of Sierra Leone and even more after it entered Kenema district, we really observed that there is less people coming to our facility or to the CHCs. Uh, so we really faced a decrease of uh, people coming, probably because of the fear of COVID. And so the children we receive here, we are used to receive children that are moderate to severely ill, and now they come even more severe or they come with a bigger delay. This is the nearest hospital where there's been a 40% drop in patients since last March. Doctors say they recently admitted one of the worst medical cases they'd ever seen in an infant. The 18-month-old had pneumonia, diarrhea and malaria. She couldn't sit or eat. Thanks to God and the hospital, she's better now. Sierra Leone is one of the poorest countries in the world with one of the highest infant mortality rates. Malnutrition is the leading cause of death for children here. And doctors warn it's facing a malaria crisis, made worse by the arrival of COVID-19. Poorly equipped and underfunded community health centres are seeing fewer patients during the pandemic. Healthcare workers believe the legacy of Ebola, which killed 4,000 people a few years ago, has heightened coronavirus fears especially for those living in Kenema, the worst affected region. Outreach programs like this are also trying to stop misinformation in rural communities and encourage locals to visit hospitals again instead of going to traditional healers. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.